Good afternoon guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome to another video. Uh, unfortunately there's quite a few flies around in this video so just bear with me while I swat some flies around. I just thought I'd uh, sort of get out a bit so I just went for a little drive which isn't too far from home but it's pretty much exactly the same as being in the bush I definitely can't complain so I just thought I'd do a quick little video of how I do my uh, sort of battery battery and solar setup um, last night I just uh, sort of inserted a little LED strip light into the back of the canopy which is just over there uh, so I thought it might be nice just to show you guys the basic setup so I'm not actually camping or anything like that so um, the back of the bucket is empty pretty much as you can see there's not really anything going on in there uh, the only thing that I have in there is the battery box which is that over there and you can see the cable feeding up into the back of the window sorry it's difficult to point my finger in the right direction um, when it's like that but so yeah basically I've got the I haven't got a fully I haven't got a mount for my solar panel yet that's what I've been trying to look at this week I haven't really found um, a way to do it yet I want to do it on uh, mounted on top of the canopy here with uh, sort of those U U shaped bars which then run runs all the way across with the uh, the bottom of it then mounted into the rails of the canopy and the top section is where the uh, solar panel will go but i haven't gotten around to that yet so i actually just did a um what do you call it a, a, um oh, these flies are irritating uh i just ratchet strapped it to the top of the top of the roof here um i did that a couple of weeks ago when i went away with the land cruiser which had stayed sort of perfectly still without any worries but the road that i drove now is quite corrugated and bumpy and i see it has shifted a bit uh, i had it sort of more centered and obviously the the ratchet also more centered on it so it's seemingly slid back a bit uh, so at least it was a good little test run just to see if i can permanently do the ratchet but seemingly not so if it's going to be such corrugated road so yeah i'm gonna to have to just sort out a bracket for that to go on top of there um, but yeah let me just quickly show you guys the the battery and the connection and the little led strip light that i put in yesterday there is the solar panel on top of the roof it's a 120 watt uh, solar panel that i got from 4x4 direct works like fantastic um no issues with it yet it charges charges my battery perfectly and I can run my 60 litre Snowmaster off of it as well. Um, so basically I've just got the cables running through the window. Down here, bit of a mess. I still need to kind of sort it out fully. And then, uh, yeah, I just got the battery in there, as you can see at the moment. I might not be able to see so well. It's feeding 13.7 volts, uh, which is pretty decent. Um, yeah, you know, so the only thing that I have plugged in is this LED strip which runs across here. So it's one of those sticky, sticky type ones, um, which runs with a USB. So in this battery box, I've got two USB sockets here. So all I need to do is plug it in and voila, we have light. Obviously it's daytime at the moment, so it doesn't, don't see it that well, but when it's dark, then it kind of lights up a lot of the canopy. Uh, I do have another one as well that I might run across here as well because I have the freezer over there uh, when that is plugged in. But yeah, so I'd say for now, this works well. What um, what sort of different setup would you guys recommend or a different way to, yeah, I guess just different way to run things, set things up, strap things in, bracket things. Um, I'm not... Um, not electrical or uh, engineer or anything along those lines. I'm completely novice to all of this stuff. Um, I just learn most of my things from, from watching other YouTube videos. Uh, so hopefully someone can learn something from here as well. Or if you guys have any um, suggestions and feedback 
that would be great if you guys can just drop that down below um, actually just checking now as well how do you guys sort of dust seal your your buckies um with this canopy it's a bush deck bush deck canopy um really awesome awesome canopy um also got these dust kits here which just um get sort of pop riveted on the inside there so that's on both sides of the opening tailgate um obviously there's nothing here either um so the dust can still get in but one of my main uh sort of areas that i'm wanting to seal up is actually at the front um there's the little holes under the load bin here which i've just put in little foam that keeps sort of popping out again so there's this side and then one over there as well um i know that you're supposed to dip them maybe in some form of liquid uh, but i'm not 100 percent sure what that is if any of you guys know what that is or a different way to seal those gaps that would be great please do let me know uh, for now i'm just going to enjoy coffee that i made just before i came out and just enjoy the peace and quiet bird life in the background um and also just looking for looking for some places where i can go camping uh while i'm still in namibia if you guys have any recommendations of great places that you've been uh that would be great i'm currently in vintuk so kind of you know, in that vicinity i can travel you know around but not completely you know up to like the north rundu or complete south as uh, so a sort of you know say within 300 kilometers of of vintuk uh, it'd be great to check out some some other places i'm actually just gonna have a little look through tracks for africa uh, the map now as well just to see if there's anything that i can find on there tracks for africa map just to see if there's anything sort of indicated in terms of uh, campsites or you know just little off or gravel roads that look fun to go and explore uh, so this is really a great great thing to have um, if, especially if you pair it with uh, the navigation app as well because then you know you can track where you're going see how long drives are where you are located and you can use it offline as well so that's really something awesome to have um and then yeah it's just sort of nice to be able to use these maps as well you know especially if your phone is dead or whatever the case is you can still pinpoint sort of where you are on the map um, and just kind of see where you're needing to go next so i'm just gonna have a little look through that uh see if there's anywhere exciting to go and explore this weekend um and yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the videos uh thank you for thank you for watching and yeah if you do enjoy it please do like and subscribe uh share it all of that kind of stuff it really does really does help out uh, and just knowing that you guys are enjoying the content as well you know it makes it easier to want to do want to do more um but yeah not sure what the next video will be uh but hopefully i'll see you guys then um and uh yeah keep safe in this time